If you are one of those people who plays video games on one screen and watches, say, YouTube or other content on the other screen, this video is going to be for you. So before I get into this video, I do want to shout out to Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers. He'll probably never see this. He's a giant channel, but he did upload a video talking about Opera GX and its performance. I believe those to be just separate extensions. Now, Opera GX came out to be 68 frames which is great. In fact, out of all the browsers we've done, it is the best test. Now, Brave came in at 66 frames. Chrome came in at 66 frames. And he even did what I'm going to do in this video. He picked one game, Cyberpunk, and he did a deep dive into running that game on Linux over and over and over again on different browsers to see what the performance difference was. And doing that, I realized, well, there isn't one for Windows that I know of yet. So this video is going to be testing the Windows version of that, and we're going to do four games across four different browsers at multiple different resolutions and settings. I also want to say that about a year ago, I watched a bunch of people advertising the Opera GX browser, so I did actually switch over, and I noticed an instant increase of performance. But the performance actually came because I changed my router around the same time I changed browsers and it didn't really hit me until after I made this video. And uh, so I just wanted to put that in there before we get into the benchmarks. Um, but without further ado, all of the benchmarks will be ran with hardware acceleration disabled. The games will have different settings. Some games will be at 1080p and some games will be at 4K just to see if we can see any variance between changing these settings. Also, the video will range from 1080p up to 4K. For Cyberpunk, I'm running 1080p Ultra with no RTX. The base performance we saw was 214 average FPS with highs of 269 and a low of 183. On Brave, we saw 195 FPS average with a high of 249 and a low of 162. With Chrome, we saw 195 FPS average, high is 251 and low is 162. Firefox, we have 194 FPS, 248 FPS, high, and low of 159 FPS. And finally, for Opera, which did a little bit better, uh, was 196 FPS, 250 FPS as a high, and 163 FPS as a low. Up next, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 at 1440p max settings with 1080p video. Uh, we're going to be using a little bit of a different chart here. We're going to be using the average, the low, and the 1% low. So with no video playing, we got an average of 185 FPS with a low of 145 FPS and a 1% low of 107. On Brave, we got an average of 163 FPS a low of 117 FPS and a 1% low of 80. Switching over to Chrome, we got 162 FPS, 116 FPS as a low, and as the 1% low, 78. Jumping to Firefox, we got 163 FPS with a low of 117 FPS and a 1% low of 80 FPS. And lastly, for Opera, we are looking at 161 FPS average with the low of 112 FPS and the 1% low at 77. For the next benchmark, we will be running Far Cry 6 at the absolute lowest setting at 1080p resolution with a video running again on the side at 4K resolution. This is the same video we are using back to back. Stock or baseline performance, average frame rate was 187 FPS with a high of 240 and a low of 159. On Brave, we have an average of 165 FPS with a high of 199 and a low of 137. On Chrome, we have an average 160 FPS with a high of 204 and a low of 135. Switching over to Firefox, we have an average of 159 FPS a high of 195 and a low of 132. And last but not least, Opera GX, we got a 159 average FPS with a 195 high and a 133 low. 
for our last benchmark, we are going to run Watchdog Legion at 4K with DLSS quality, and we're also going to run the video at 4K as well. The baseline performance is 85 FPS average with a maximum of 127 FPS and a minimum of 61. Moving to the Brave browser, we got 78 average FPS with a maximum of 115 and a minimum of 51. Moving on to Chrome, we got an average of 77 FPS with a maximum of 116 and a minimum of 61. Down to Firefox, we got an average of 78 FPS with a maximum of 110 and a minimum of 62. And lastly, going to Opera, we have an average of 78 FPS, a maximum of 113 and a minimum of 61 FPS. So that actually took quite a bit to compile that uh, data. Each game was 15 benchmarks in a row, so you had a total of 60 benchmark runs. Um, and obviously you can see by the numbers that there's not this like massive difference between the browsers, which was to be expected, especially if you had watched Mudahar's video. Um, I thought maybe that Linux was causing, maybe, maybe there'd be a little bit of difference between like Linux and Windows, because Windows typically has like the DX drivers and stuff. But overall, the performance was pretty much within a margin of error. I will say this though, the Brave browser and the Opera browser. The Brave browser felt better to me. It might have been a placebo effect. There were a couple point higher scores in the frame rate. Um, the Opera browser has a bunch of tools in it to kind of like change performance. You can, you know, slide up and down how much uh, CPU usage you want to use or RAM usage. Um, I did play with that a little bit, and I think that that is a placebo. I'm pretty sure it's really not doing that much. Maybe it like will close out some tabs. Um, I haven't spent enough time with it, and the other browsers don't have that, so I wanted to give it a fair advantage across the board, just leaving mostly everything stock except for hardware acceleration. Which, by the way, anyone who's running dual screens and having issues like stuttering or anything like that, turn off G-Sync and definitely turn off hardware acceleration. Starting with the same order I used in the video, um, if you're looking for hardware acceleration, it's actually under Use Graphics Acceleration when available for Brave. Moving over to Chrome, you're gonna see it under System and it's gonna be right here, Use Graphics Acceleration when available. Next up, moving over to Firefox. This one's a little bit confusing. It's way down at the end and it says Performance. Use Recommended Performance Settings. Actually uncheck this. This is basically hardware acceleration. And lastly on Opera, this one's also a bit confusing because you have to go down to the bottom here and click Advanced and then basically move all the way down. And let's see if I can find it quickly here. Enhance videos, another thing to turn off right here. Turn that off. Um, use graphic acceleration when available. So there it is right there. That should help you guys a bit if you're having any stuttering or issues. All right, guys, I, I just want to show you this really quick. Uh, this is something that I find to be an issue using the Opera browser. Um, a lot of times I'll go to like a live video and I won't have my live chat up. Sometimes it'll take a little while and eventually it'll pop up. Um, right now it's kind of like frozen or something. But if I jump over to the Brave browser and click on the same video, uh, my chat pops up pretty much right away. So I'm definitely going to be switching over to the Brave browser after kind of learning about uh, Opera GX and also Another thing too, if you guys decide uh, to watch the Mudahar video, the Some Ordinary Gamers video, he goes in depth about the other parts of Opera, like how old they are, you know, some of the stuff that they're doing themselves that might be a little sketchy. And if you're really about privacy and all of that kind of stuff, probably go for a completely different browser. None of the ones on this list are gonna be good for you. So I think that about sums it up. Um, Within margin of error, slight edge on Opera and GX. Uh, yes, I did not test Microsoft Edge. I really just don't like the Microsoft Edge product. I feel like it's bloaty and there's a lot of stuff going on in there. So I, I just kept it out of this. I know that Mudahar tested it in his video, um, but I just wanted to be clear that I just, I'm never gonna use it, so I'm not gonna suggest it to anybody. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys have different results, let me know down below. I'm interested in what you guys have to say and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.